Welcome back to Let's Play Deja Vu Part 7! Yeah, we finally made it to this fat lady's house where she was kidnapped. Let's see what's in the mailbox. Envelope 2! Let's take it. See what's inside this mysterious envelope of wonders. I wonder what could be inside. You know, I say of wonders a lot. It's like this mysterious plate of wonders. This mysterious envelope of wonders. This mysterious treasure chest of wonders. I don't know. I'm running out of things to say. Let's open the envelope. Man, I gotta pee. And I just said that on camera. Wow. Okay. Let's take the letter. What's in the letter? I mean, what's on the letter? Yeah. What's on the letter? Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Roaming through my inventory. I wish they had a bigger screen. Okay, ransom note. Sternwood, we have your wife. You have 24 hours to collect $20,000. If you contact the police, she's dead. We should be standing at the corner of Peoria Street and Elm at exactly 12 midnight. Have the ransom in a briefcase. There you'll be contacted with further instructions. Wow. Alright, so we gotta move over to this mansion place. You're at the front end, and the door has a huge knocker on it. Okay, if we open this door, let's knock. Oh, okay, never mind. Don't hit the door. Uh, oh yeah, we use the- Ah! Yes, I want to open the door knocker. Yeah, use the door knocker. Here comes the butler. He's really creeping me out. The lawyer explains that he has strict orders not to let anyone in the house unannounced. Especially with the master asleep. This guy looks like the classic one. Now, in most games, you would probably do something like, you have to go out, he'll say, like, well, they'll let you pass if you get me something at, like, this shop or something. But this isn't one of those games. Socko! And he's out for the count. Yay. That felt good. Now, over there, oops. Over there is the kitchen. There's no point in going there. You don't do anything. Now... Oh, okay. Two doors. One leads to a room. One leads to instant death! No, uh, it just leads to another room. I'm trying to make this more interesting. Okay. You're in a bedroom. Smell of cheap, strong perfume odor in the air. It must be a guest room. There's a woman fast asleep. It must be the lady who's secretary. I mean, the secretary lady. It is her. Let's hit her! Aw, oh, man. Deep sleep. We can punch her and she still won't wake up. Open the night bull. No, night bill. Oh, night table. Okay. Took me like a while to figure out what that is. Memo. Ballpoint pen. Glasses. Alright, in here. If we use. We can't see the, what the memo is, says. But if we use the pencil on it, we will be able to see everything. <laughs> oh my god. Use the pencil to shade over the indentations on the pad. Whatever. Let's take a look at the memo now. Timetable. 12.15 a.m. Be sure Joe's butt. Okay, it just basically says it's the whole plan of the kidnapping. Okay, I'll give you some time to read it because I'm too lazy to. Be waiting near the bar's front door for Ace's arrival. Put Ace in stall. Be sure he's unconscious. Inject him with 10 cc of Dianville Termite. So that's basically saying they injected us with take his gun and stuff. Very descriptive. So this is basically the whole plan. Kill the is kill the bar owner. Kill try to kill you, but no, no. Inject you with the medicine that makes you forget everything. Plant seagulls things on Ace. Make sure his fingerprints are on it. Dump Miss Siegel in the car. That's the lady we saw earlier. In safe, leave bar and lock up. Be sure not to leave ransom case behind. On the way home, plan new Siegel letter in Ace's file. What a setup! If they don't do something, if you don't do something soon, they'll nail you for murder and kidnapping. Oh no! Boy, this is a nightmare. You'll have to get complete proof of your innocence to the cops. Now you're almost ready to finish the game. 
Now we just have to leave here. It's the master bedroom. Now all you gotta do is take the brief, the briefcase, examine. The, oh no, no, no! Open it, I think. My table. Take everything. Even though I don't think you really need a tissue, but I think you're gonna need envelope three. Actually, I think I forgot what it says. Forget everything. Oh wait, no. Yeah, open the envelope. And scrolling through my inventory. Scrolling through my inventory. Scrolling through. I like this song. Envelope three. Open the envelope three. Letter two. Let's take it. Okay. I wonder what it could say. Oh, God. It's taking a while. Ugh. Do, 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 do. My fingers are actually kind of numb from doing this so long. It's a letter that says, Stern one, this is my final warning. Keep your... Or your wife gets a story. I don't think she'll look upon you so favorably in her will after that. Since Vickers belongs to me, you can pay her for her if you want her that bad. She'll cost you 20 grand. Now, you have everything you need. The game's almost over. Yay! <coughs> Oh my god. Alright. I wonder if I can finish it off in this part. Oh man, I'll try to do it quick. Okay, I'll do this really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak. We gotta run into the mugger this time. Come on. Still no mugger? Did I really hit him that hard? He shows up a lot. I can't believe- Wow. Okay. What you gotta do now? Open the manhole. And go down into the sewer. Oops. Go down into the sewer. We're in a cold and clammy sewer. Yay! It's a good thing we didn't see the alligator here. Okay, what we gotta do now? Keep going down. Now you're at the deepest part of the sewer. What you gotta do now is leave everything the game will let you leave into this part of the sewer. Like, the coat it won't let you leave. It'll let you leave the gun. Now, it'll just let let it let you leave. Let let just put everything in the sewer that it'll let you leave. Like the coins probably won't. Yeah, but everything it'll let you leave that it'll be like discriminating evidence against you. Let it do that. So I'm gonna cut it here once I've left everything I can. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. Now the only things the game wants you to keep is the coat, the coins, the lighter, the wallet, key one, card, key two. Pencil, key three, medicine two, or any of the medicines. Capsules, your money. Bullets, no three, no four. Key five, the diary. Key four, more medicines. More medicines, file four, letter one, memo, and letter two. I'm going to try to finish it off in the three minutes that I have due to YouTube's crappy time limit. All right, what you got to do now, leave the, s ah! leave the sewer. Get out of here. Wait, did they spell sewer wrong? I think they might have. Uh, okay, I'll open the manhole, Mr. Smarty Pants. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm in the alley. This is this is a bad place to be. Get me, get me out of here. Okay, that was close. Okay, move over here. We're in the front lease station. Last thing we have to do in the game. Yay! Ace Clear's name. You're in the hands of the police. The evidence you brought to them proves to be interesting. In the courtroom where you wind up, during the trial of kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and the murder of Joey Siegel, three bits of evidence prove valuable. The dryer from Vigor's Bungalow, the blackmail letter, and the timetable from Mr. Sternwood's bedroom. These three items put together paint the picture of the Mona Lisa. I mean, plot of Sternwood and Vigor's to kill Mrs. Sternwood and Siegel and to make you take the fall for it. The diary and the blackmail letter provided the motive for such actions. The timetable indicated how they did it. I'm running out of time. Sternwood and Vickers were grilled on the witness stand. The weight of the evidence and the skill tactics of your lawyer made the... Way to go, Ace! Yay! Congratulations, Ace. You're off the hook. Since the case drew national interest, your name is seen on every paper in the country. Who could have asked for anything more? 
How about a weird cutscene that makes you think you're a cutscene, but it's not. It's just full screen. Ace Harney's my monocure. Once a boxer, now a private eye. Siegel lost his life for a mere 20 grand, so I'm off the hook. The town's really quiet all of a sudden, like nothing happened. But crime will never cease here. It's hunting its neck at them right at this moment. Ace Harney's my monocure. The next case is just around the corner. Somebody had better look out. The end! Yay! We did it! We beat Deja Vu. Or I beat Deja Vu when you watch, but let's just pretend you helped somehow. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my videos for my next LP, A Secret. Or I'll just be continuing my Luigi's Mansion playthrough, whatever. Give me five star ratings below this video and post a comment to make fun of this guy in a trench coat. See you later!